This week on The Wire, investors buying sight unseen, lockdown Aussies saving more, and family guarantees help first home buyers. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, investors buying at sight unseen. So new research has revealed one in nine Australians are prepared to buy a property without doing a physical inspection of it. As COVID lockdowns continue, real estate agents report many buyers inspect properties virtually and make offers based on that. Now with border closures and stay at home orders preventing buyers from doing a walkthrough, many are still able to organise for building and pest inspections to be done to help reassure them about what they were buying. Now the survey by CanStar found Australians are less likely to buy a car, pet or even rent a property without having seen it in person first. Pent up demand for properties is leading to increased prices and strong auction clearance rates despite, despite lockdowns and restrictions. Now Sydney has consistently recorded auction clearance rates around 80% in recent weeks compared with around 50% at the same time last year. According to SQM research, up to 90% of those sales are being finalised before the property can even make it to auction day. And now guys for our next story. Lockdown, Aussies saving more. So an inability to travel overseas or even interstate in many cases, plus lockdowns keeping people out of restaurants and shops means Australians are saving a lot more. About 37% of Australians say the latest round of stay-at-home orders improved their savings, according to a new survey by Eubank. Now of those, 45% of millennials, which Eubank Chief Executive Philippa Watson says are more adversely affected by the economic shutdown. See, she, she says young people are disproportionately impacted by lockdown job losses as they are highly represented in the hospitality and retail sex, sectors. As a result, many have started saving an emergency fund for future lockdowns and forced time off work. Now, ABS figures show savings ratios increased from 6% to almost 20% in the March quarter. Now, many are using savings to renovate homes or buy investment properties. And while most are saving more, the survey found that one in five respondents believe COVID has a negative effect on their ability to save, many because they're spending more online. And now, guys, for our final story of the week. Family guarantees help first home buyers. So young people may be saving more, but many still need family help to get into their first home. Now, rising property prices might be good for those who already own a property, but for those trying to buy their first home, it means the deposit they require keeps rising. Now, according to Ken Star Blue, those struggling to achieve the required deposit are using a family security guarantee. Now, with a family member acting as a guarantor, first home buyers have more borrowing power and can avoid paying lenders' mortgage insurance. Now, guarantees mean family members don't have to fork out any money directly to, to the borrower, and once the home's equity reaches 20%, the guarantor can then apply to the lender to be released from the obligation. Now, many parents are living in properties worth a lot more than they owe, so have plenty in equity that they can use to help their children into the property market. But parents are warned that they should weigh up the risk and obligations carefully before committing. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, guys. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.